In this lesson, we're going to create a component that will show the available cars in your area for pickup. So I'm going to rename this directive to make it more clear what it is. And then I'm going to add it to my map component below the pickup pin. Similar to the pickup component, I'm going to pass in the map so I can create a new Google Maps marker for each available car. And I'm also going to pass in whether pickup has been requested by the user. So I'm going to import this into my map component and add it as one of the directives to make it available inside my template. Now in the available cars component, I'll add in the inputs that we passed in from the map template. When this component has loaded, we want to fetch and show the available cars. So to do this, I'm going to implement the onInit method for a component, which will be called after our input properties have been set. So now we want to implement fetch and refresh cars. And to do this, we're going to need to create a new service that I'll call car or car service. So I'm going to add a method to this service called get cars. That's going to take my current position and return the cars in my area. But in order to keep refreshing the cars location, we're going to create our own observable that calls this service to return the available cars every two seconds. And we'll flatten that down into a single observable using flat map, but because we don't want stale results if some service calls take longer than others, we're going to use switch map to return the latest results. So I'll come back to the service call for available cars in a second. But I'll finish this observable by calling share so that if any other pages make this request to get cars, they have the same subscription. So as you can see, observables are a powerful way to deal with asynchronous data. We're able to create a single observable that flattens multiple observables and only return the latest results from those multiple observables and then share that single subscription with multiple callers. And check the resources section for other sources to learn more about observables.